going to make another little video about one of the repairs I'm going to try for the first time here. Um, it's welding cast iron, which I'm not an expert welder, but cast iron is particularly tricky just because of how brittle it is compared to mild steel. Um, so the plan is to, this is a um, spool off the end of the disc, and it, it snapped off because uh, somebody was driving it too close to a stump that was in the uh, end row. Um, fortunately, it's right on the end, and it just bolts on to the end through these four holes here. One, well, you can see on this side, one, two, three, four, it bolts on to the existing shaft. So if this fails, I'll go up and buy a new part. I think it's about $200 from Kraus. Deer sells them. But I'm hoping I can repair this. So what I did, there's two halves. The crack goes all the way through. And then what I did, I just took two plates. And there's a through bolt here that goes all the way through here. And then I use these two bolts to back to this plate. So the whole thing is oriented properly. And then I just took a grinder and ground all the way around. I'm just going to show. I don't really want to pick it up. But I ground all the way around till it's just barely holding. There's, I think it's going to burn through eventually when I weld it. But the plan is to preheat this thing with the torch at least two inches on either side of this thing. So I'm going to have to put a lot of heat into it. Um, I think I want to be up to 700 degrees or something. I think 1400 is too hot. That's what they said the maximum. I don't know how lucky I'm, how fortunate or how able I am to get it up that hot over the whole thing without the whole thing cooling off too fast. But once I have it there, then I'm going to. I bought this welding rod. It's not nickel rod, which is super expensive. It's this stuff called Shark Welding Cast Arc. I only got three sticks. Um, it wasn't too expensive, but. I wasn't willing to buy a whole pound for a hundred dollars um, and then I'll put three welds essentially long tack welds just to hold it maybe a half inch long on each and a root pass and then pe peen it with this uh, and then put it the idea is to let it cool down slowly so then I'll take that whole thing with a pair of pliers. I don't have sand, but I have gravel. I'll put it in the gravel and then put a welding blanket on top of it in here and then let it cool down to room temperature overnight or whatever. Um, and then come back and repeat the process till I have a root pass all the way around. And I think I'll just use up all this welding rod. And then I, I'll probably top it off with like a 7018 if it doesn't fill in. It's quite a bit of work, but it's really a, an experiment just to see if I can repair it. And the, if it doesn't work, it'll just crack and it'll fall off and I'll have to uh, go buy a part. But for now, that's that's the plan. So uh, stay tuned. This, is, I guess, will be part one. Maybe I'll send some pictures to people who are interested. Thanks for watching. Bye.